and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a different version of Timo Burn. You may remember that we played Timo Burn just a few days ago where it was very aggressive, again, where we were playing Boom Crew Rookie and a whole lot of burn cells that we were trying to kill our opponent very quickly with our Timo and our Gangplank. We're playing a new version of that kind of deck where this time we're going to be going with basically more of a control version. Um, finishing them off with all the puff caps, having a bunch of removal for their units, and having Riptide Rex at the top end to go along with Gangplank. So I guess this, this deck's kind of similar to the Twisted Fate Gangplank deck that I've been playing, but we're going with Teemo and with the puff caps, with Puff Cap Peddler and Chump Wump. I definitely like these kind of cards in a sl slower deck because the if you think about Poison Puff Caps, um, if you're trying to kill your opponent very fast, they don't have they're going to draw not very many cards because the game the game goes quickly, so they don't have enough time to draw the puff caps. But if you play a slower game um, that goes longer, you know, like if it goes ten turns instead of five turns, for example, that's an extra five turns that you get to uh, draw puff caps, and so that each puff cap is uh, going to be more valuable the more turns there are and the more cards the opponent draws. And so yeah, we're going with the, the slower control version with these two, with Teemo, Peddler, Chump Wump. Of course, all the Riptide Rexes. Um, a really good way to turn on Plunder for Riptide Rex is with the Puff Caps. They draw a Puff Cap, boom, Plunder's turned on, you get to Riptide Rex. So that's a, a really good combination. Alright, so let's play some Teemo Burn. We're going to go play over in Ranked. We're going to go play five games. we got all donation decks on the docket today. And... Um, playing new version of Team Burn to start with. Right. Um, Riptide Rex is going to be awesome, but maybe I should mulligan it because it's an 8 mana card. And we don't really have. You know, we're not a warning shot deck. Also, we need a couple of Yordle Grifters just to be able to get those warning shots, possibly. And maybe this one higher gun should be one Yordle Grifter. Maybe. Or one of these salvages, a Yordle Grifter. I can see that. So it looks like we're playing against some scouts. I was hoping they weren't going to attack, to be honest. But I don't want to attack because we want Hired Gun to just eat up this tutu. So I, uh, like, I don't want to block. We can just use this as a removal spell. If I play Petty Officer right now, they'll just challenge the Petty Officer. I guess they have to play another unit to be able to challenge. They can't challenge currently. I'll write my own story. Hmm. I guess I still play it though. It's just whether I play it now or play it after combat. It's possible they just pass and they don't even attack and I kind of waste this 3 mana, but we'd, we'd be able to use it for salvage later. I guess it's not that bad, that big of a deal if they just pass. Feel the sizzle. Can't fight on an empty stomach! You 
Not the best petty officers. Slow down, will you? Hmm. Don't stand in my way. This gets us our first, you know, it's our first damage in, so our first uh, thing for Gangplank's leveled up. <laughs> this does, you're, you're right, Jetpack, this does really look like Gangplank is shooting Teemo out of a cannon. That's what this looks like here. Pretty good draw. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Hot damn is the boss. You best start running. No! Alright, definitely glad no Rangers resolve. I was scared of that. So down to ten. Okay, Mystic Shot's good. Get to pair that with the Powder Keg. To take down Quinn, that was a good draw. We both have four cards in hand, and we have a better board currently with having the 5-5. Five five. Ouch. I don't think I'm going to attack with Gangplank. That's that's basically what I'm trying to decide here is whether or not to attack with Gangplank. If they do have Rangers Resolve, suddenly they'd have to be able to play it right then. Wish that was the one drop that I hit. My one drop's not as good. So, if we play Peddler, play two spells, we get nine puff caps. That's not enough to level up Teemo. Three spells would be nine. Still not enough to level up Teemo. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, 
Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Gotta have that on defense. Probably just playing the salvage <clears throat> right now. Ooh, okay, not block not taking team though. Interesting. You've concerns, do ya? Um, I could definitely see... I kind of feel like they have Relentless Pursuit. That's what I kind of feel like. So whether or not to have this Teemo block. I obviously need to stay alive myself. I think that's... That's the biggest concern, is staying alive. Do I look like a patient man? Sandal scouts are never afraid. I did my best. I'm gonna pass because if they do have like, relentless pursuits or something. Oh my gosh, that is. That is a great card to hit. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Not Relance Pursuit. And maybe I should have just played the Salvage because I couldn't I couldn't beat Relance Pursuit anyway. So maybe I should have just played it. Um, so I'll have seven mana. Should have just cast both Mega Reigns at the same time. All these different pump cards. If they did block with something, I would have just played New Gang Plank. There we go. That could help out. Yeah, because I wanted to play New Gang Plank, get Powder Keg, and have Powder Keg make it rain available to take down Petty Officer.
I mean, I think that's game. Because if I play Teemo, they just... That's game. If I play Teemo, they just challenge here. And too many of these Bannermans and Genevieve Elmhards. I have to hope that they just attack out. These woods belong to us. Yeah, this is what I cannot have happen. Um, yeah, it just doesn't. It doesn't matter what I do. I can't get rid of two of these four things, which I need to. Oh, so if I more aggressively traded, if I could have like attacked with Gangplank an another turn earlier, maybe if I do that, maybe Gangplank trades off, and I was and I would have been able to play the new Gangplank. Which would have definitely helped with having the powder keg and everything. Need to more aggressively trade that off. I wish we had the attack token turn one. Misfortune. They were yeah, they were a scout deck with Misfortune and Quinn. Gangplank's really good. The five mana five five. I already have things to do early earlier on in the game. Rogue if you work, run if you don't. Find me a favorite loop. So I want to curve into Gangplank. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Will no one listen? Poor man's gone mad. Hmm. I think I'm going to just play Make It Rain over a Thermogenic Beam. Sure, Chump Pump after Peddler is ideal, but I mean, you can't go wrong with a 5-5 a five five Overwhelm on turn 5. That also brings a Powder Keg, which is awesome for, for our spells, which I guess that means, speaking of that Powder Keg, I guess that means that I shouldn't play Make It Rain right now. So 10 out of 15. Dead men tell my tale. I need just a moment. Hmm. Man, Glory Seeker is so good. Not ideal, but I can't. I can't really risk Mega Rain missing. Plus, if they just have a, even it, even if Elixir, or sorry, even if uh, Mega Rain would hit, they could Elixir of Iron and save it. So we're only at two right now. Three puff caps? That's a lot less puff caps if I'm gonna double them up.
Which I guess I should be doing this during combat. Um, because of Ice Veil Archer. But I figured if they had Ice Veil Archer, they would have played Ice Veil Archer the previous turn. But I should be doing that during combat. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Adventure starts with mushrooms! <clears throat> They would have, they would not have drawn those three. Would gave them another six total, but it's all right. Only the finest serve. All right, eight mana. Not a meddler. Would a mushroom help? All right, so they got forty two. My pretty, I misjudged. All right, so I'm hoping either make it rain hits them or they draw puff cap. The easiest thing is they draw puff cap here. Perfect. And now Rex is enabled, Gangplank levels up. Now this is where I don't really mind them having sentry die, because you know like they draw they're drawn into puff caps with sentry dying. They played that that eight drops that just you know basically used all their mana. It's like they need brittle steel, but still even with brittle steel, they're yeah they're still just dead. So that's it. All right, GGs. See, game play was good. So we kept Gangplank. That card was good. Yep. Yeah, Puffcap Peddler was huge in that game. They got a bunch of Puffcaps because of Puffcap Peddler. That card is awesome. But speaking of Peddler, I want to have things to do before, but even if we don't, at least maybe have like some spell mana. Which it's it's not bad to have spell mana for. We play Peddler, then we play Chump Wump, create the two mushroom clouds, can play those immediately. Have a mushroom! Have three! Quite unfortunate. I don't 
on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. My selection speaks for itself. There's plenty of killing left. Man, good hand. Good hand. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plant him, kid. Slippery. Grow free. Get him, Timo. Get him, Timo. Yeah. Blows up. The drew one. You'll fight or you'll swim. Throw get your work, burn if you don't. Okay, always wanted to shut you. Don't get you some blocking. I'm always up for a round or two. I just can't risk. Make it rain missing. Obviously have to kill this thing. Something for all of you. Oh heck. Looks like trouble. Tempting to block with the deck hand. Come on, Timo, get him. Oh. Man, they had a great hand. The Noxus spell is better than the PNZ spells, as far as removal goes. Possibly. Two out of the three. Not bad. Now, hopefully, they draw Puff Cap. And then we're able to cast Rex. Go on, draw Puff Cap. Yes. They have their warning shots for Rex. Awesome hand. You kind of showed the power of Yordle Grifter. It's we'll probably playing more Yordle Grifters in our deck. But uh, they had a lot of good stuff anyway. <laughs> 
Down to four. Hmm. Do not draw Pup Cap there, so my Gangplank's not leveled up. This is us likely being dead. You know, probably like Noxian Fervor. Fervor. Left foot, left foot. The Vandal Scout tries harder every time. They had a great hand. GG's. That was a good game. These Bilgewater cards are awesome whenever they curve out. That's basically, you know, it's like that's like the the plunder control that I play that I've been playing. That they, you know, they played Noxus instead of PNZ. Noxus cards looked great. Death's Hand was awesome. Was Death's Hand better than Mystic Shot? Like maybe not. It got it got a little bit of damage in, but it was more mana. And y'all see so you get De Death's Hand and Noxian Fervor instead of. Mystic Shot, Static Shock, Thermogenic Beam. Gotcha. I mean that that's a lot a lot more a uh, built a lot more Nexus damage with those Nox the Noxus cards can do more Nexus damage. I'm not going to play the Dreadway Deckhand yet. Ooh, I like that. It's a good card. Alright, how do I want to do this? Either go deckhand and then like mystic shot this thing. Or take three. I guess I take three. And just get peddler in play. Safeguard our homes. Start these puff caps piling up. Enraged Yeti quite quickly. We'll take what we need to survive. That's not really a card I was expecting. <clears throat> that thing's okay. I mean, 5-2, I can block with a 2-2 two -two on that. Scarthane Stefan. Alright, 
right, down to 12. I was get, I was planning on blocking with the 3-3, three, three, of course. <clears throat> yeah, Timo. Worry about reckoning. If I just play Teemo, they just you know they could go reckoning. Like doing the burst pass. Hit him. Alright, double that up. Four out of five, it's about to be a six six. I got ways to find in mushroom. <clears throat> okay. You got legs. You suck. I uh I'm planning just using gotcha on the hearth guard. Wait till next turn and do that. Probably better to just give him the mushroom clouds right now. Just more more puff caps. And yeah, we actually don't I guess we don't really even need to gotcha anyway, because they're Riptide Rex. Huh. Well, they didn't draw a puff cap. So our Rex is not enabled. That's too bad. Yeah, now they just frostbite this thing. That's too bad. Few are in the right to call themselves Triferian. I think they do some puff caps now. I think that would count as some puff caps. So now Gangplank's leveled up whenever we play Gangplank. If they have like Harsh Winds attack, we can gotcha the 6 1. To not die. <laughs> the shark really likes the the little birdie. Doesn't want to hurt the birdie. Don't want to hurt that thing. Puff catch with Riptide Rex is pretty sweet. Victory was the mushrooms we planted along the way. Puff catch with Riptide Rex, pretty sweet. Two and two, and frostbite mid range again. Hmm. 
this hand not as good as our previous hands. I wonder if I keep Gangplank still. Like, I kept Gangplank earlier in this matchup whenever I had, like, two other things that I knew I was going to be playing. Now I don't really have the other things that I know I'm going to be playing early. So I guess I don't want to keep it, and then I draw more Gangplanks and Rexes and stuff like that right now. I could certainly see Riptide Rex getting nerfed. I don't... That would not be too much of a surprise. I'm gonna pass. Be nothing left when I'm done. Not and ready. Down to five cards. Are we going to open attack? Yeah, I hope they don't have another brittle steel. Unfortunate. Patience. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Brittle steel's good. There they go. All right, now we'll have three, three jagged butcher. If they attack right away, bow to no one. Avarosa, guide me. Okay. Okay, so I'm hoping to be able to have uh, Gangplank get a Powder Keg and Static Shock both of these, I think. I mean, obviously I have the Mystic Shot as well. Um, but I'd rather use Static Shock on the two. I guess I don't really have time to do Static Shock on the two, do I? Play that before my powder keg. Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me.
Um, I say hopefully pass. I don't know where this enraged yeti is. Hopefully pass. Thanks, Carrot. Thank you. I don't know, our deck felt pretty good. Our, um, you know, like, sure we went two and three, but our deck our deck felt really good. I think all three of our losses were decks that really ran hot, that had, um, you know, perfect spells all the time kind of thing. Uh, especially the first, the first one I think that I could have sequenced differently and won that one. The first one I was pretty surprised that I lost. Um, I think it was kind of like a... You know, game that I probably could have sequenced better, but they, they really, you know, they had just had the exact cards they needed, but then these other two that we had, they just, you know, absolutely amazing curve outs. But our deck definitely felt strong. Um, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, still 2-1 versus Ash Sejuani, and it took them having, you know, ridiculous cards all the time. Like, if they just don't have one of those two Brittle Steels... It's a, you know, it's a lot different game. Like, even if they just had Elixir of Iron, not Brittle Steel on one of those two. Um, yeah, I mean, they, it just happens with, sometimes, you know, sometimes decks just, ha you know, run really hot. And that's what happened with two of our games. So, super impressed with this deck. Even, even with a 2 and 3 record, super impressed. Uh, definitely, definitely my kind of deck. I, I do wish that we could find, like fit like Yordle Grifters in here. Or if we could cut down on PNZ cards and get more Bilge Water cards in here uh, for for Yordle Grifters. If the problem is we probably want to play at least 12 PNZ cards with Teemo, Mystic Shot, and uh, Chumpwomp and Peddler, like at the very least. That'd be like taking out Salvage, taking out Thermogenic Beam, taking out Gotcha. I do like Gotcha a whole lot though, also. That'd probably be like the minimum number is 12. And then you, know, you can have like, yeah, I can have like Yorl Grifter replace Static Shock and Gotcha. Maybe have, um, you know, this could maybe be a, a warning shot, black market merch. You know, this could maybe a black market merchant kind of deck with like warning shots, black market merchants. Oh, that's true. You don't want nab with Teemo. I guess that's true. If we're getting them all the puff caps, then we don't want to nab stuff. I forgot about that. I, I did forget about that. All right, so maybe you don't. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I, I did forget about how if we give them tons of puff caps and then steal the card, we're taking all the damage. So never mind. Guess you don't want Yordle Grifter. The reason why I was saying that we'd want Yordle Grifter, of course, is to generate warning shots for or create warning shots for Riptide Rex where we don't have to just play warning shot. So no, never never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I think our, our deck's good. Um, I, I don't really know if I want Hired Gun in this kind of deck. I know. I, so maybe something that would impact the game more than than uh higher gun does um i'm not sure exactly what that is but maybe there's some kind of card in here the dreadway maybe there's some kind of card in here um true shot barrage with powder keg deal four three and two that's probably never gonna happen. It's probably it's maybe just like another gotcha. Gotcha is pretty awesome. Or maybe it's just one veteran investigator. I don't love veteran investigator, but it it's it's certainly great for later on in the game whenever you have all the all the peddler, you know, like whenever you have all those kind of things, but I don't love that card. Um 
Maybe one clump of wumps would be better than a hired gun. I don't know. I don't know. Five. Scrap shot? Uh, yes. Yeah, pretty expensive. I wonder if there's... It's probably just... This, I don't think that, I don't think that deals with, um, puff caps. Ooh, what if you played a Kempunk Shredder? That card's awesome with Powder Keg. Oh, maybe a Sprayfin? See, Sprayfin drawing Mega Rain, Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam. I know you already have a bunch of threes and fours. Maybe you can handle one Sprayfin. Yeah, there's there's some options. Definitely some good options in there. All right, uh, that's it here for our control version of Teemo Burn. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.